A Citrus County couple is mourning the loss of their 10 month old baby after she died of a rare genetic disorder. ABC Action News reporter Wendy Lane shows us how baby Blakely's short life made a lasting impact. Most parents are excited to bring their baby home from the hospital, but doctors told Michael and Emily Puckett that wasn't going to be an option for them. We didn't have a car seat. We didn't have a crib. At 20 weeks, Blakely was diagnosed with a rare genetic disorder where the brain doesn't divide into two hemispheres. Her parents were heartbroken to learn that she wasn't supposed to live past birth. <laughs> But Blakely had other plans. We love you, Blakely. And then to see her uh, take a breath and breathe when we expected that, you know, she wasn't going to live. It was a miracle that Blakely was able to come home from the hospital. But every day was a struggle because she suffered from seizures and many other problems. That was a, a daily or every other day feeling was, are we going to the hospital today? On February 18th, 10 months after she was born, little Blakely was done fighting. And then they took uh, her off the ventilator and placed her uh, in our arms and she was ready. In his daughter's eulogy, Michael talked about Blakely's bravery. You showed that you could live, you did belong, you did have purpose, you were beautiful, and you were overwhelmingly lovable. The Puckets say Blakely taught them to know that each second is a blessing and that everyone deserves love. You know, she wanted people to know that everyone is very lovable, yeah. no matter who they are. In Citrus County, Wendy Lane, ABC Action News.